In this video with the On King, we're going to learn about the version 2 experimental scheduler. And uh, it's, it's a really cool thing that they've added into Anki that I think makes a lot of good changes. Uh, the main things I'm going to highlight here is it does make a huge, huge changes for custom filtered decks that make it a lot more usable. A few changes to burying cards. It uh, actually randomizes the sub decks. It does make a few changes with learning cards. It maintains the time zone, so you don't have to worry about that when you're traveling. Uh, I will make a note here. You need to be careful when you update to the V2 scheduler, it, uh, it will kick your cards out of learning and I'll explain that here in a second. So here we go. Okay, the V2 scheduler, uh, it's it's pretty cool. I, I, I definitely really like it and I think it's worth trying. Um, it's probably less experimental than it says it is. Uh, I'll link this in the description of the video, this website here. This, this goes over the exact changes that were made in this uh, so you can go through them. The, the biggest thing really is the filtered decks and I'm gonna um, kinda go over that. I've created a filtered deck here with the options basically just to pull from this card and we're gonna reschedule answers based on my deck and we've got 10 cards. So. Uh, just so you know. Now, I, I'm gonna show you what happens. Remember, I am not on the V2 scheduler at the moment. So here's this thing. I'm going to flag it. So you can see it's got a red flag here. And I'm going to hit OK, which means it'll come back in 10 minutes, which means it's still in the learning phase. Um, so there's still a card here. Now if I go here and empty my filtered deck, it's gonna put all those cards back into the uh, original things. Now if we go find that one card that I flagged, you can see it is it, it no longer has a due date. Um, it, it got kicked out of the learning phase and put back. So this this really stinks for people because you can't ever empty your filtered deck. You can't rebuild the filtered deck um, without kicking all of your cards out of the learning phase, uh, which can be really annoying. Uh, the next thing is I'm just gonna go here and uh, bury a few cards. Bury, bury. There we go. All right, and uh, I also have it set in my settings here to bury related cards and very related reviews, we'll do that. And if we go in here, ooh, and most of these cards should have a few different things. If I hit edit just to double check, so you can see there is a related card here. So if I do this card, this card here is gonna get buried with the other close note. Um, so we'll go back out here. So there's three cards have been buried at this point. Now if I go in here and I want to unbury, it's going to unbury everything. <laughs> which is not exactly what we wanted. Um, so uh, it, in a V2 scheduler, I'll show you in a second, we'll actually let you uh, do that differently. The last thing here, I'm gonna go back in here. Uh, you can see there's three buttons here on the learning cards, uh, as well as it doesn't show it here because I have it set uh, on the default settings, which are not the best. But uh, here, a lot of times, if you have settings that make you do multiple steps in one day, uh, this number will actually be double the number of cards you need to do. For example, you may only need to do 20 cards, but it'll show that there's 40. Um, there's kind of a hiccup in that, and the V2 scheduler fixes that. I'm going to rebuild this and do a card just so that I can show you something. All right, so there's a learning card here and there's a learning card here. This is where you need to be extra careful. And when you upgrade to the V2 scheduler, it's going to kick everything out of learning just like I showed you with the custom filtered decks. Now I just typed in is learn here. I would recommend that you do that uh, before upgrading to the V2 scheduler just so you know what's in uh, the V2 scheduler because all of these are gonna get kicked out of the learning phase and I, I found some of them will get put back to as like a new card if they're brand new. Some of them will actually get, if they're relearning, will get kicked to their next step. So you won't necessarily get the time you needed to relearn them. So be careful. Ideally, you don't have anything here uh, when you do it because as we do this, we're going to go Anki preferences and turn this on. Uh, and it's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, okay. And you can see those got kicked out. So they're gone now. Um, and and that, it just is what it is. Now I'm going to show you what it lets you do here. If we go in here with the V2 scheduler on, I'm just going to double check that there is a second close and there's not on this one. So we'll just bury it. I need to find a card that I think this one does. We'll bury it. And I'm just going to go through a bunch of cards here so that some get buried that are related. Okay. So now we have a bunch of cards here. If we go into this deck and you want to unbury, it will actually ask you, do you want to unbury the ones that were just siblings? or do you want to unbury the ones that you manually buried? Um, so that's a cool feature in the V2 scheduler that I think is really helpful. Uh, another feature is randomizing the decks. Let's get out of this, cancel. Um, it, you can use the Hoochie add-ons uh, if you don't have this on. I've heard sometimes they don't work as well. 
but normally if you're without the v2 scheduler it would go through this deck then this deck then this deck then this deck then this deck uh it, you know it would randomize everything within this deck but you would do all of the cards do here before you did the cards do here uh the v2 scheduler supposedly fixes that and it will totally randomize the cards that you get um which a lot of people really prefer another thing here go back into the decks uh, remember i showed you the learning cards have uh, three buttons. The learning cards now have four buttons, and hard actually just repeats the uh, previous interval uh, as opposed to uh, doing the 1.2 times like it does when it's a graduated card. Remember, these are still in learning, so uh, it won't, it shouldn't affect the ease at all. But it will just repeat the current interval. So that's another nice feature. Uh, the time zone thing here. Uh, it, it, when you have the next day starts at four hours past midnight, if you travel 10 hours one direction, it may change to 14 hours past midnight, which is kind of annoying when you're traveling. Uh, with the V2 scheduler on, that will be time zone specific. So when you travel to time zone, it will still be 4 a.m. wherever you are. So that's a, a super nice feature. And the other thing here uh, that is the show learning cards before reviews. There's actually an add-on you can do if you don't have the V2 scheduler um, to put the learning cards before reviews. But if you have it on, you can use this this thing, which is another cool thing about the experiment feature. And then last but not least, I want to show you the filtered decks. Uh, the filtered decks really are um, the coolest part here. I'll rebuild this. Uh, and, and they're different than they are previously, but they are a serious highlight. And I'm going to make a whole video on filtered decks and, and making those uh, to be released after this. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But I'm going to choose the options of the deck here, and you can see it's a little bit different. Uh, the first thing is it lets you enable the second filter. So if we click here, you can actually add a second one. And what this does is it lets you do reviews and new cards. So if this is is do, and this is is new, you can actually mix the two. You couldn't previously do that. Uh, the other thing is if you don't reschedule cards based on the answers in your deck, uh, it doesn't actually let you do the custom steps like it previously did. Uh, it lets you choose like a repeat failed cards after here. And so if I click um, rebuild, uh, just to kind of show you what's going on here, it will actually, um, if you hit good, like they're gone, they're out of the filtered deck. And if you hit again, it'll stay in. So if we hit good, you can see that one's gone forever. So it's just a really good way of cramming. Um, but if you are using the filtered decks for other things like on daily use, these are going to be way better because they're not going to kick the cards out of learning like we previously showed. Um, and I'd like to show you that similar to what I did. We'll reschedule cards is new. We'll limit it to 10. And I'm just going to double check that we unflagged this card here that we had. Oop, flag one. We're going to unflag it so there's nothing flagged. All right, now I'm going to go in the filtered deck here, and we're going to do the first card here. We're going to hit good so that it's still in the learning phase. Oops, let's undo that. First, we need to flag it. So now it's flagged so we can find it quickly. Hit good. All right, now I'm going to go to the browser, but I'm first going to rebuild this. Um, and we'll go into the browser, find that flagged card, and you can see that that is today's date. So it actually uh, stayed uh, where it was supposed to and you'll still be able to do it uh, come 10 minutes for its first step. So that's a huge, huge thing that the filtered decks updates with this V2 scheduler, and that's why I would recommend using it if, if you like it. Thanks for learning with the Onking. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here, as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnkingMed. Also, feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, OnkingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.